Hi, I'm Steve Braun, and I'm running for town council in District 3. Uh, that's a combination of precincts 4 and 10. I'm running as an independent. I'm not affiliated with any political action committee or any other group in town. Um, although I have friends and I, who I deeply respect on all sides of the issues of charter issue and the schools issue and on the issue of what kind of development we want in our town, I just don't think I should be pledging allegiance to any particular group at this point. I've always been an independent thinker. I intend to continue to be an independent thinker, thinker on the board and on the council. So I think we do have an opportunity now with the new council to make progress on issues in a way that's less divisive and less polarizing than, than we've seen in the past. And I'd like to work f uh, towards that goal. Um, I'm a good listener um, and I can think clearly in a way that I, I think if we bring people to the table, we can find solutions and find new ideas that will, in the end, result in, in, in much more satisfying solutions that, that attract more than 51% of the voters. So I have a lot of thoughts on, um, on issues in the town, which I expand on on my website, so I hope you can check that out. Right here, I just want to give you a quick um, little bit of background about myself. I've lived here 18 years. Uh, both my girls uh, went through Wildwood and uh, Wildwood Elementary School and the middle school and the high school. and um, they, they had some fabulous teachers, very inspiring teachers, and um, I'm a big, therefore, uh, supporter of the schools and want to do everything we can in cooperation with the school board to make sure we keep our schools strong and, and, uh, uh, and, and viable. So um, I've also been actively involved in town government for at least a decade. I've been uh, vice chairman of the finance committee and chairman of the Public Works Committee and uh, on the Joint Capital Planning Committee and on town meeting, not all at the same time, of course. Uh, so I really have a good sense of how the government works and I have a deep understanding of the, the financial machinery that makes the town run. And I'm ready to hit the ground running the day one um, when the new council is seated to explore options for funding uh, very badly needed capital projects. Of course, we need to find a solution to the Fort River and uh, Wildwood Elementary Schools, and I think we've got some good ideas for that. The Fort River um, Building Committee is already working on, on uh, exploring options for that school, and I'm hopeful that we can quickly generate a new proposal, and I'm open to all sorts of ideas for that. But we also need desperately, a new fire station. The downtown fire station is in bad shape and uh, needs to be replaced. Meanwhile, we also need a new DPW facility. We need to upgrade the Jones Library, and we also need to pay attention to our, continue and make progress on repairing and maintaining our roads and sidewalks. So, um, and I believe we can actually do all this. I've looked at the, the financial dynamics, looked at ways of structuring our bonds, and sequencing the projects, and I know that we can afford this. Um, we have to control the costs of the projects themselves, we have to be smart about how we sequence them, and we need to uh, generate new revenues in town, and that's, that could be marijuana sales, but it could also, it should be new development. The development just needs to be contextual, has to respect the existing fabric of the architecture and the scale around it, and it needs to include enough parking and, and, uh, and other amenities to be viable. I know we can do this. The North Amherst um, development is a great example, I think, of the kind of development we need. So anyway, I believe that I have the uh, experience and the temperament uh, needed to really uh, forge forward with the new council in a way that's sensitive to the, the, the whole range of values and opinions in this, in this town and in a way that, um, that lives up to the promise of the charter itself. Thanks.